of vicious communist propaganda that perhaps some of you have seen. It's called The Crusader. It's written by Robert F. Williams, one of the organizers of the Revolutionary Action Movement. In this issue of The Crusader, the communists call not only for extensive chaos within the cities, but for putting to the torch every village, every forest, every field, and every barn. The plan is for raging fires from one city to the next. The reason? Well, first, there's the value of sheer destruction. Secondly, it would force us to deploy our defenses and rescue units over the widest possible area. The communists point out that as long as our police and National Guard remain concentrated, they're invincible. But if they can be forced to spread out over the entire city and into the countryside as well, then they can be picked off from ambush one by one. And the third value of massive fire to the communists is psychological. The average American, they say, soft and decadent, when he sees billows of black smoke rising from one horizon to the other, when at night the only light he has to see by is the flickering red from flames leaping into the sky, he'll become paralyzed with fear and panic. He'll run away and hide and do nothing to interfere with the guerrilla bands as they strike at the community's power centers. The Crusader explains how to set up sniper units in crowded metropolitan areas, how to manufacture jumbo Molotov cocktails, the gallon jug size, and how to mix the gasoline with certain ingredients to make it burn like napalm, how to pour gasoline into utility manholes in the streets to set fire to the main telephone cables, how to put sulfur tips from matches into air conditioning units and blow up large buildings, how to ignite gas mains and oil storage tanks. It explains how radio-controlled model airplanes can be used to fly explosive charges over heavily guarded fences into gasoline storage areas or munition stockpiles. It even calls for infiltration into the National Guard units, revolutionaries posing as non-militants for the purpose of getting free military training and for gaining access to critical military supplies and heavy weapons. And then, finally, Robert Williams says this. Any all-out minority revolution must create a state of crisis wherein almost all of the male population would be forced to remain in their homes to protect their property and families. The middle class is very large, but it is not accustomed to deprivation and terror. Because of its affluence, it has waxed soft. It has no stomach for massive fire, blood, and violence. The motive force behind its life drive is its endless pursuit of prestige, conspicuous consumption, and sensual pleasure. A few years of violent, sporadic, and highly destructive uprisings will set the stage for the grand finale. After the stage is properly set through protracted struggle, America could be brought to her knees in 90 days of highly organized, fierce fighting, sabotage, and massive firestorm. Ladies and gentlemen,